In the previous example, these two opposite charges, one was 50 microcoulombs and one was negative 30 microcoulombs, they experienced a force of attraction towards each other. And if you imagine the negative 30 microcoulomb was sort of nailed down and the 50 was allowed to move, it would naturally start to get attracted towards the right. And in the previous question, we were trying to figure out how fast it was going after it starts at 2 meters and ends at 1.2 meters. So it was a conservation of energy question. Started with potential, ended with potential and kinetic, and you had to work out your velocity from there. This is subtly different. This time we're going to physically grab this charge and slowly, ever so slowly, move it to a new position. And we're going to figure out what the change in energy is of that sphere of that 0 0.05 kilogram blue sphere when I move it from 2 to 1.2 meters away from the negative 30 microcoulomb charge. So this ultimately is determining what is the change in energy as I go from location A to location B. And we know that change in energy is work. So change in anything is always final minus initial. And since all we're talking about is potential energy, we're assuming there's no velocities involved, my final potential energy will be K Q1 Q2 over R final minus K Q1 Q2 over R initial. Now, if you like, I can factor out a K Q1 Q2 since it's the same in both. It makes my algebra a little easier. 1 over r final minus 1 over r initial. So when I do that, I get 9 times 10 to the 9 coulombs constant. Q1 was 50 microcoulombs. So 50 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Q2 was 30, but negative. And remember, with energy, you have to put in the signs of the charges exactly the way you see them. So negative 30 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. And then I simply go 1 over R final, which was 1.2 meters, minus 1 over R initial, which was 2 meters. And I just crank all that out in my calculator, and you end up getting negative 4.5 joules. So the work required, or the change in energy going from A to B, is negative 4.5 joules. Now, we know from previous units that when you get a negative value of work, that simply can be interpreted as you lost energy. It had more energy in location A than it did in location B.